everyone welcome to the yarn bowl today in this video i'm going to show you how to work a cute cotton tote bag for adult size however if you want to work the same tote bag for child size you can find the link for both the patterns um, in my etsy page i have posted all the links in the description so you can find the adult and child size pattern on my Etsy page. If you want a free written pattern of the adult size tote bag, it's available in my website, the yarnbowlcrochet.com. Link for that is available in the description. If you have an Instagram account, do follow me on my Instagram handle as well. I post project updates and fun reels on my Instagram. Meanwhile, if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So these are the yarns that I'm going to use today for my project. These are the Cotton Fair Bulky and Cotton Fair Bulky Prince yarn um, that are released from uh, Premier Yarns. And this one right here is colored cornflower. And um, I'm going to use this. And this one right here is white. And this one right here is waves. So these are the three color uh, combinations that I'm going to use for my tote bag and the yarn as such recommends 6.5 millimeter crochet hook but I'm going to go ahead use 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project and we'll need stitch markers if you're not good at uh, counting your stitches and scissors this is the color palette they are offering and uh, all the colors are so beautiful I can't wait my uh, to try my hands on them and I'm going to start my round one with uh, col cornflower color yarn and um, you can work uh, this pattern in any color choices um, this is just a sample or you can work this tote bag entirely in one single color so I'm going to work a slip knot and then I'm going to go ahead work 34 chains so I have worked 34 chains here and then I'm going to go ahead work three more chains this three chains is considered as my first double crochet and then I'm going to work two double crochets on the fourth chain from the hook so we have worked three double crochets on the chain considering the chain three is as a double crochet as well so the idea is to work three double crochet on two chains at the end and the remaining chains we are going to work one double crochet on each chain so now I'm going to work one double crochet on the next chain and then I'm going to go ahead work one double crochet on each chain just before the last chain that is we are going to work one double crochet on each chain for 32 chains so go ahead work one double crochet on each chain for 32 chains so we'll have one chain at the end left So now we have one chain at the end left so I'm going to work three double crochet on that chain so as I told you earlier we'll be working three double crochet on the two chains on each end so this is going to naturally turn our work to the other side and now I'm going to work one double crochet on each chain on the opposite side for 32 stitches So I'm going to work one double crochet on each chain on the opposite side. So also use the yarn that that is left while we started off our chain. While you work the double crochets on the opposite side. So go ahead work one double crochet 
on each chain on the opposite side for 32 chains. So we are going to just work one double crochet on each chain on the opposite side till the end. So now this will be the base of our bag. We will work slip stitch on top of our starting chain 3 to close this round 1. So go ahead work slip stitch on top of your starting chain 3 to close this round 1. So I have missed uh, the clip of round 2. Round 2 would be work a chain 3 and then work 1 double crochet on each stitch around. So that will be your round 2. I have already worked my round 2 here. So I am just going to work slip stitch on top of my starting chain 3. So round 2 would be work a chain 3 which is considered as your first double crochet and then work 1 double crochet on each stitch around and then work a slip stitch on top of your starting chain 3. Now for round 3 we are going to work on the wrong side because we are going to work on a special stitch called pebble stitch and then work a chain one turn to your wrong side and then work one single crochet on the same stitch and then go ahead work one single crochet on next three stitches so all together we have worked four single crochet stitches now now we are going to work a pebble stitch in case you are not able to follow your stitches just mark your first stitch with the stitch marker now pebble stitch we are going to yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop 3 loops on the hook yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop 5 loops on the hook yarn over insert your hook on the stitch pull up a loop 7 loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the 7 loops now work one single crochet on each stitch for next 4 stitches so the stitch that we work before in between the single crochet stitch is called as a pebble stitch. So when you turn to the right side you can see the stitch that is popping up. So now we are going to work once again one pebble stitch on the next stitch. We, gone, we are going to yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop and then we are going to yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop two more times which will give you seven loops on the hook and then we are going to yarn over pull through all the seven loops and then we'll work one single crochet each for next four stitches and then once again you work one pebble stitch so we're going to repeat this pattern around of four single crochet stitches and one pebble stitches go ahead repeat this pattern around of working four single crochet stitches and one pebble stitches and then we are going to work the entire round in the wrong side so we work one single crochet each for four stitches and then on the next stitch we work one pebble stitch pebble stitch is nothing but a regular puff stitch worked on the wrong side we are going to yarn over insert your hook on the stitch pull up a loop and then we are going to yarn over insert your hook on the stitch pull up a loop two more times which will give you seven loops on the hook and then yarn over pull through all the seven loops so go ahead work this pattern around now i am left with my last stitch where i am going to work my last pebble stitch for this round and once we are done with that I am going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting single crochet stitch to close this round 3. So at the end of round 3 we will have 14 pebble stitches. Now for round 4 I am going to work a chain 3 turn my work to the right side and then I will go ahead work one single one double crochet on each stitch around 
so i have already worked one dub chain three which is one double crochet on top of my pebble stitch now i'm gonna go ahead work one double crochet on each of the single crochet stitches which will give me five double crochet stitches so you can count these double crochet stitches as a group so that you don't miss or add any stitches so you should have 70 double crochet stitches at the end of this round so considering our chain 3 as our first double crochet and now go ahead work one double crochet on each stitch around that is one double crochet on top of the pebble stitch and one double crochet on each stitch each of the single crochet stitches so you should have 70 double crochet stitches at the end of this round and once this round is complete you are going to work a slip stitch on top of your starting chain 3 to close this round 4 so at the end of round 4 you should have 70 double crochet stitches So go ahead work round 4, I will meet you at the end of round 4. So now we have completed our round 4. I am going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 3 to close this round 4. So next round for round 5 we are going to skip one stitch in between. We will see how to do that. I am going to work a chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet and then I will work one more chain for the chain 1 space. Then I am going to skip one stitch and then I will work one double crochet on the next stitch. Mark your first top of chain 3 which is your first double crochet with the stitch marker and then work a chain one skip one stitch and then work one double crochet on the next stitch chain one skip one stitch and then work a double crochet on the next stitch chain one skip one stitch and then work a double crochet on the next stitch so keep repeating this pattern around and uh, once done work a slip stitch on top of your starting chain 3 to close this round 5. So at the end of round 5 you should have 35 double crochet stitches and 35 chain 1 spaces. So continue working this pattern around. I will meet you at the end of round 5. So now we are almost at the end of round 5, I am just working my chain 1, last chain 1 space and then I will work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 3. So don't work your slip stitch on the chain 1 space, work your slip stitch on top of your starting chain 3. So now my round 5 is complete, um, you can work the entire bag in the same color. So now I'm going to just change my yarn color to white and uh, I'm going to repeat the rounds. I'll show you how we are going to work. So I'm going to work a chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet for round 6 and then I will work one double crochet in the chain 1 space of the previous round and I will work one double crochet on top of the double crochet of the previous round so I'm just going ahead marking my uh, first stitch which is chain 3 which is stitch marker and then I will go ahead work uh, one double crochet on top of the double crochet of the previous round so just repeat working this pattern work one double crochet on top of the chain one space of the previous round and uh, then work one double crochet on top of the double crochet of the previous round so keep repeating this pattern around and uh, 
once done work a slip stitch on top of your starting chain 3 to close this round so at the end of round 6 you should have 70 double crochet stitches and once this round is complete work a slip stitch on top of your starting chain 3 to close this round 6 so at the end of round 6 you should have 70 double crochet stitches So now for round 7, 8 and 9 we are going to repeat whatever we have worked on round 3, 4 and 5. So we are going to work 1 pebble stitch round and then 1 double crochet round and 1 double crochet chain 1 space round once again with this white yarn. So we are just repeating this pattern with different colors of yarn once I am done with white yarn I am going to use the wave uh, shade yarn to repeat the entire pattern once again so, so this color change is uh, optional um, if you want to work the entire tote bag in a single color you can go ahead work it that way as well so now I'm going to work my pebble stitch round. I'm going to work a chain one, turn my work to the wrong side and then I will work one single crochet on the same stitch and then one single crochet on each stitch for the next three stitches and then now I will work my pebble stitch. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook on the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert my hook on the stitch, pull up a loop two more times, seven loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all the seven loops and then I'll go ahead work one single crochet on each stitch for next four stitches and then work one pebble stitch on the next stitch keep repeating this pattern around we are working in a group of five which is four single crochet and one pebble stitch around and then one step work a slip stitch on top of your starting single crochet stitch and then repeat rounds four and five as well which will be the double crochet round and the double crochet chain one space round once again with this white yarn so this will be the end of round nine i have completed my double crochet and chain one space round here i'm working a slip stitch on top of my starting chain three to close this round nine so after round nine is complete once again i'm gonna change my yarn color to waves and repeat whatever I have done with this white color yarn with the wave shade so we are going to repeat once again with the wave shade and we are going to use all these three colors once again for our bag except that in the last round we are not going to work the double crochet chain one space round so now you can see we have repeated the entire pattern with this three shades once again I have used the cornflower color white and the wave shades again in this pattern but in the last color which is the waves I'm not working the double crochet chain one space around here and I will work my bag handles with cornflower color so I'm gonna change my yarn color to cornflower so when I work this bag for the last round I skip working the double crochet chain one space and then start working my bag handle so I work a chain one which does not count as a stitch and then I go ahead work one single crochet on the same stitch so once I'm done with that working one single crochet on the same stitch I'm gonna work one single crochet on each stitch for next eight stitches so go ahead work one single crochet on each stitch for next eight stitches
so once you are done working one single crochet on each stitch for next eight stitches we are going to work the bag handle I'm going to work 65 chains for the bag handle so go ahead work 65 chains and then make sure your chain is not twisted and then skip 19 stitches and once you skipped 19 stitches work one single crochet on the next stitch so go ahead skip 19 stitches and make sure your uh, chain is not twisted and then work one single crochet on the next stitch and then once you have worked one single crochet on the next stitch go ahead work one single crochet on each stitch for next 15 stitches so all together work one single crochet on each stitch for 16 stitches after you have worked your bag handle which is chain 65 So now I have worked one single crochet on each stitch for 16 stitches. I'm going to go ahead work 65 chains once again for the next bag handle. So go ahead work 65 chains. So once you have worked 65 chains, I'm going to once again skip 19 stitches. Make sure my chain is not twisted and then I will work one single crochet on the next stitch after skipping 19 stitches on the other side so once you have skipped 19 stitches work one single crochet on the next stitch and then work one single crochet on each stitch for the remaining 6 stitches and then work a slip stitch on top of your starting single crochet stitch to close this round 25 So now we will work one more round to finish our bag. I am going to work a chain 1 which does not count as a stitch and then I will work one half double crochet on the same stitch and then I will go ahead work one half double crochet on each stitch around. So I will work one half double crochet on each single crochet stitch and then I will work one half double crochet on each chain of the 65 chains worked for the bag handle and then once again work one half double crochet on each stitch for the single crochet stitches and work one half double crochet on each stitch for the next chain 65 chains for the next bag handle so I will work one half double crochet on each chain for 65 chains so complete working one half double crochet on each stitch around and once that is done work a slip stitch on top of your starting half double crochet stitch to close this round 26 this is the last round so go ahead work one half double crochet on each stitch around I'll meet you at the end of this round
so now we are at the end of round 26 which is our last round so you can see how nicely we have worked our bag handles they look really good and sturdy so now I'm gonna work um, my uh, half double crochet stitches on each stitch for the last couple of stitches so I work one half double crochet on each stitch for the remaining stitches and then I will work a slip stitch on top of my starting half double crochet stitch to close this round 26 after this I can fasten off and weave my ends so go ahead fasten off and weave the ends we are done with the bag So my ends are weaved, the bag is ready, it looks so pretty, it's very good and cute for your summer outfits or you can also use it as a beach tote. So I'm going to use this leather tag which I bought in Amazon here, I'm going to sew it up. So this is totally optional, if you don't want to add any leather tag, you can totally avoid this step. So I can't explain how um, soft this yarn is, it's really so smooth to work and uh, even the bag is so soft. It also has a uh, little stretch on it as it's a blended yarn of cotton and acrylic. So it's so, so easy to work with this yarn. So I'm just sewing in the tag here, I've sewed in. Now I'll fasten off and weave all the odd ends of the yarn you're done with your bag i hope you enjoyed the pattern i can't wait for you to try this tote bag pattern if you want a child size tote bag pattern it's available in my Etsy page uh, link for that is available in the description and if you want a free written pattern for the adult size bag, it's available in my website the yarnbullcrochet.com link for that is available in the description do follow me on my Instagram handle as well. I post many project updates and fun reels on my Instagram. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn board and click on the bell icon as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.